Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shapes and today we're going to be doing another face lather. Uh, got a bit of a growth right here, but I do like to grow out a couple days before I shave. Um, yeah, I like, I like shaving and I also like growing out my little stubble that I have. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing another face lather today with some different products. The soap will be Selesky soap, uh, soaps, yes, frigid. So this is, I believe, one of the only mentholated soaps that they have. And Selesky soaps, um, I really like it. I think uh, a couple of their ingredients, like the cocoa butter, coconut butter, mango butter, shea butter, uh, they have a lot of butters, and they also have the Tessa silk in the ingredients, which makes it very uh, creamy, in my opinion. But I just found out that they will be changing their ingredients um, to a new formula uh, beginning May 25th. So hopefully that new formula is um, just as good or if even better. But I know that they uh, took out some butters and added some other other butter in. But yeah, we'll be using this. I've always had a good result with the soap. So let's see how it goes. And with this, uh, this doesn't come in this uh, stick, but it actually came in a, a plastic or what is it, plastic wrap sample. This is a two ounce sample that I uh, pushed in into this uh, stick, and then I will be face lathering with this, um, just putting it all across my face, and then using a brush to um, lather it up. As for the brush, I'll be using a Sterling 26 millimeter finest badger. Uh, this comes in the marble handle, which I really like the aesthetics of. Um, still in the water, as you can see, all that water dripping. And I think this is a discontinued uh, brush from Sterling, but I know it's still going around. Um, so I bought it off the uh, marketplace. I think the badger and blade BST. And yeah, I really like it. Um, it's got a very luxurious feel. Um, it's got a Pretty good density. It's not the most dense badger that I've tried, but um, it's kind of in the middle. So I really like that um, kind of loose, kind of dense uh, feel of the brush, and it feels very soft. So I'll be using this to start it off. All right, I've been soaking that for maybe 10-15 uh, minutes, not too long. Um, washed up a bit in my hair, and so let's go. Oh, I'm sorry about the background noise. I think there are some uh, some people mowing lawns in the outside. So, uh, but think I thank them for their work. But I said uh, I'm gonna fill up the water and continue. So right now I'm using a lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold, kind of in the middle. I used to enjoy cold water shades, but. I think in the morning, it's kind of um, nerve-wracking to wake up to cold water. So I've been enjoying these uh, lukewarm water shaves because I know that if you use too hot of a water, uh, my face tends to get dry and also it's not good for the brush because uh, the glue knot can um, wear out with the hot water. So let me just wet my face a bit. Oh yeah, and thank you everyone for watching my first video. I really enjoyed putting it out, and I think um, I'll do this more for, at least for this month and next month. I am on a little bit of a break right now, so I have more uh, time to enjoy and make these videos. So that will be the plan for now. But, uh, get my face wet, and I will be Wetting the tip of this handle, or the, this stick, wetting it slightly, and just put it across the face, like this. Now I do this first, and then I also put some on the uh, brush as well, just to make more lather. 
because I realized that once I do this, it really works for the first leather, but for second and third pass, it doesn't tend to uh, have enough leather to work with. So I just put some on the brush uh, to make sure I have enough. Put some more water in. I think that's good for the water. Just rub it in. Ooh, this is uh, feeling very nice as it is a mentholated soap. It's got that eucalyptus mint kind of scent. Kind of like Vicks Vapor Rub. I actually haven't tried that. I know a lot of people uh, mention that when they use mentholated products. I tried, uh, tried Tiger Mom and some other mentholated stuff, but not Vicks. All right, now let me let me. So here's a brush. You can see the water dripping. It's very 26 millimeter badger is very nice size. It like displays across your face very well. But that's it. Uh, let's flick it three times. One, two, and three. Now with this stick, I'm gonna just rub it a couple times. Um, not too much maybe for like 10 to 15 seconds just to get some lather going in the brush now I, I know that you could do this is another way to uh, lather up a shave stick but I, I use both methods across the face and against the stick now got some here I'm gonna rinse the shave stick a bit man Kind of sucks that this label is like half waterproof as it is kind of disappearing as you can see, but uh, that's okay. Put that to the side. Now we've got the badger kind of half loaded and let's start loading face lathering on the face. Mmm. Yes, this feels very nice. Cold, ventilated. Bridget soap. Now look at this display. Ooh, that is a beautiful display and a badger brush, in my opinion. This is probably the most luxurious feeling badger that I have. I have a couple of Yaki badgers that I use, but this one, um, I think maybe because of the the size of the knot, 26 millimeter, it got a very nice uh, plushy feel to it. And this brush is pretty wet, so I could start going in circular motions right away. And it holds a, a lot of water and lather, so... And just look at this blade. This is very nice. Now, there's a lot of rave about sterling badger brushes. Ever since I started looking through the forums for beginners and starters, if you want to start trying out a badger brush, the go-to recommendations is a sterling badger. And I'd say that's a pretty good, um, those are pretty good brushes to go for. And as I could see, or as I have experienced, these Sterling Badger brushes are very nice, luxurious, good price points. It's wonderful to work with. Now this is a pretty dry lather, so even though the Badger holds a lot of water, it doesn't do enough for the soap. So I'm going to add a bit more water. Now I believe this soap can hold a lot of water, so um, in my my experience. So let's see. I like to make this kind of a fan or what do you call it? Paint it across my face a bit before I put it in water. So let's put a couple drops. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Man, I love mentholated soaps. Those are my go-to when I'm 
I want to feel better to start the day. Mm -hmm. As you can see, cause it's a little translucent with the water. Mm. So it was very nice. It's not making as much as the ladder that I expected. Maybe I should try putting more water in. Hmm. Some soaps can hold a lot of water, others can't. But this is a. Uh, I could shave right now with this, but just in terms of face leather, I just want to push the limit of the soap. All right. A little bit more water. Now you see all the soap and water flying everywhere. I don't like doing that, but sometimes you have to while face lathering. Hmm. The brush is very soft, but it's got a bit of a scrub, which I enjoy. I'd say it's close to a broken in bore, and that, that's what I kind of like. Badgers and broken in bores are fantastic brushes to work with. Hmm. It's a very good lather, I would say. wonder if I could put more water in. Now I'm getting a bit of greedy. But I like to push the limit as I'm not shaving today, so... Let's try it. Man, look at this. It's a lot to work with, but a little bit more water. One more. Mmm. That might have been too much. Mm. You could really see that creamy leather forming. Mm. Leather flying everywhere. I'm getting in my nose. Mm. Yeah, I knew this soap could take a lot of water. This is what I like to see. Oh man, look at this. Just lather dropping everywhere. You see there's a bit of a hole inside there. So put that lather in. Now normally you don't want you wouldn't want to spend too much time lathering like what I'm doing right now. But since I'm not shaving, I could do whatever I want. And also as you can see, or as you have seen through the video, uh, you could shave with a dry lather, like how I started, but could also shave with this luxurious, creamy, and peaky lather, which you can do with certain soaps, especially this one. As you can see, you see those peaks? Yes, that's what I like to see. This is a almost a yogurty consistency that I like in my shape. I think this soap is really one of the best that I have. Uh, 
Look at this brush filled with leather. What I like to do is kind of clean off the top here. And then put them back at the top of the brush. Keep lathering. And this feels great. The menthol is kicking in. Now I could lather for days here, but just in time's sake, we should probably um, clean off or go for a second pass. All right, so this is the uh, end of a long first pass lather, which is wonderful. So I like to see plenty of soap in the brush. Uh, usually clean this off and put them back in the brush. All right, could work with this any time of the day. During my shave, so let's clean this out. Go for a second face lather pass. Mm. Got some in my hair. Be careful. Yep, and it's got a great residual slickness. Even when I rinse it off, there's a good amount of slickness left on my face. Don't forget to wipe off the ears. All right. Face is doing great with the menthol. Let's go for a second pass. Look at this brush filled with lather. This is the Silitsky Soap Frigid. Great soap with the menthol. Let's start here. Or let's try the um, Chris's method. Get another cut above. Put the lather in the center of your chin. Hmm. Look at that, look at that. And then start lathering in circular motions in the cheeks. Make sure that doesn't drop. Hmm. It's already feeling great. Yeah, now you don't wanna mash your brush as the center can get tangled up really quickly. So just go at a gentle motion. Don't go too crazy, uh, but with this empty center, put the leather back in. Mm -hmm. And then continue. Now, as you can see, you don't have to take as much time in the second pass because most of the soap is already worked in and has enough water. But you can work it in even more. I think I could put more water in here, but there's no need. Yeah, it's plenty to work with. Great second pass of leather. As you can see, it's not as dense, but it's, it's plenty to work with. And look at this brush. Even after two passes, plenty of leather left. Whew, and it's feeling good and chilly. All right, well, I believe that is it for this face lather session. 
probably don't want to go for a third pass. I could show you guys, um, but I like to limit myself at two pass, at least for face leather. Don't want to further irritate my skin, because I know if I do this too often, my skin can get irritated. But let's say let's uh, clean it up. Enough the ears. Those ears are pretty tricky sometimes. <laughs> Those leather stay in forever. And also, last video, I think I saw some leather towards the back of my neck here. Maybe over here, I don't know. All right, feeling great. Uh, face is clean, we're good to go. Now after this, I'll probably uh, end with some Thayer's Witch Hazel as that's a pretty mild toner and maybe some uh, Nivea Aftershave Balm, the original one. <sighs> All right, so clean face, still a bit of stubble here, but tomorrow I'll be shaving. Uh, probably with an open comb as I like to shave my three day growth with an open comb, which uh, just cuts it through like butter. But the products that I use today, frigid Selisky soaps, you can still feel the menthol right now. Great little soap, and as you can see, it performs really great. Creamy, protective lather that whips up, takes in a lot of water. That's what I like in a soap. And then Sterling Badger, 26 millimeter, finest badger. It's a great little brush. Uh, Feels luxurious on the face. Um, splays out a lot. It's got a, I think, medium density to it. So, um, in a medium backbone. So, I think just all around, it's a very balanced badger, badger brush that most of the people will like, in my opinion. I, li I love it for what it is. And, yeah, probably for next shaves, I'm thinking of using... Um, some boars. Uh, I like to uh, alternate between boars, batchers, and synthetics. Maybe I'll try a synthetic. Yeah. I'm thinking of maybe the craving shaving brush that I um, showed you guys in the last video. Probably be using that. Maybe a sterling soap. I love me some sterling. Um, so yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time.